Welcome to the driver's seat. Until recently, the notion of a hydrogen fuel cell car was just a science experiment. But thanks to these two models, to my left is the Toyota Mirai, and to my right, Honda Clarity, you can get one. Well, if you live in California. These are both very impressive vehicles. On a single fill-up, you can get over 350 miles of range. From a styling perspective, I don't love the exterior styling of the Clarity, but it works in this particular color, which is the Bordeaux or Burgundy. You also have black and white as the other two color options. I don't like the white. I think the way they did the body panel over the rear wheels just doesn't work on that white car. As far as the interior styling, I love it. I think they did a great job. You have a lot of uh, very uh, premium features. This is the first Honda vehicle sold in the U.S. available with head-up display, which we've used uh, throughout the day. You have a nice large uh, navigation system, of course lane watch and all the other Honda sensing features. The vehicle is very comfortable. We've been driving all day. The seats are quite comfortable and uh, again a lot, of, a lot of space. This is the only hydrogen fuel cell uh, sedan available with five seats. The Mirai only has four seats and for some people that's a very important uh, decision factor. Then the materials that they've used are very premium. We have this kind of Alcantara uh, a dashboard which I think looks nice. It feels nice but it could get very dirty very quickly so I think maybe they should have opted for some different materials. But let's get down to how does the vehicle drive. I think it drives great like all other electric vehicles because that's what this car is. At the end of the day, it's an electric car that you don't plug in, but you fuel up. The hydrogen basically makes electricity that powers the electric motor. And uh, with all this range of 366 miles, uh, if you live in Southern or Northern California, this vehicle could make a lot of sense for you. The Honda is leasing this vehicle for $369 a month. However, you have to put down about $2,900, but you get a $5,000 rebate from the government. So that offsets the down payment and you still get to walk around with $2,100. On top of that, they're giving you $15,000 in fuel over the next three years uh, for the life of the lease. And for most people, that's going to more than cover uh, all of your driving needs. So in essence, you could be driving this for free and with approximately 30 fueling stations in Southern Northern California and they're adding uh, another 20 or 30 more over the next two years, you should have plenty of options. In Orange County, uh, where we are based, there are at least seven stations, so uh, no excuse to, to run out. And what they found out with the first FCX Clarity is that the biggest complaints customers had was range. That one had about 220. Well, you have about over 50% more on this uh, Clarity. Uh, they missed having a fifth seat and they just didn't feel there were enough features compared to a Honda Accord, for example. So all of that has been addressed in this vehicle. Uh, while the Toyota Mirai is a fine car in its own right and has a similar lease plan with the free fuel, I don't like the styling of the Mirai at all. And I think the interior is, is rather cheap, very uh, Prius-like, and whereas Clarity kind of made its own interior and I think it really works. You have a very familiar shifter here that you find in other Honda products like the Pilot and the Odyssey. And uh, overall, I just think they did a, a terrific job with this. Very, very little to complain about. I think when you start crunching the numbers, this is really a no-brainer vehicle with the rebate, uh, with the free fuel, uh, and a very affordable uh, lease payment. Uh, you can drive this thing for next to nothing. Strictly from a mathematical perspective, this car makes a lot of sense when you factor in the federal rebate as well as the $15,000 in free fuel that you're going to get over the three-year lease. Uh, this car could cost you maybe $100, $120 a month to operate if you drive 15 to 18,000 miles a year. That makes a lot of sense. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the driver's seat.